Hi friends! Today for our first simple science, we are going to make homemade lava lamps. Um, so let's get started! So to start, let's first get our ingredients. You're going to need Alka-Seltzer, the little tablets, any food coloring. I chose green because that's my favorite color, but you can have any color you like. Some vegetable oil, or if you don't have that, you could use baby oil and a clear container. To begin, I like to start with about an inch or so of water. So just regular water from the sink is great. And then you're gonna add your food coloring. You don't need to put a whole lot. Like a splash. If you have a dropper, you could do like, you know, five to ten drops. And then you're gonna put in the oil. And you're gonna put in about two thirds of a cup of oil. When you're filling it with oil, you want to make sure that you have some room up at the top because when we add the Alka Seltzer tablet, it's gonna bubble. All right, so that's the next part. And you're gonna see how the oil and the water are separated. It's already kind of looking a little lava lampy. And then take your one tablet. And you're gonna see, it's gonna start bubbling. And that's your lava lamp. Here's a closer view, look at that. And what's great is when it stops bubbling, you could always just throw another tablet in. So now let's talk the science behind this. So there's a lot of things going on here with both physics and chemistry. The first thing to remember is that liquid is one of the first three states of matter. It flows, it pours, and it takes the shape of whatever you put it in. So for us, it took the shape of our container. Um, but all, what's also important to remember is that liquids like water and oil have different uh, thickness or what we call viscosity. So when you pour the oil, do you notice that it pours differently than water? What can you see about the food coloring drops after you add it to the oil and water? So it's important to be thinking about the viscosity or thickness of liquids that you use day to day. Now let's talk the chemical reaction that happens to make this lava lamp. When two substances combine, so in this case, the Alka-Seltzer tablet and water, they create a gas called carbon dioxide. And you guys should know what carbon dioxide is. It's the stuff that we breathe out every day. So when you take in air, that's oxygen. And when you breathe out, that's carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide is all of the bubbling that you see. And these bubbles take the colored water to the top where they pop, and then the water falls right back down. And it just goes over and over again, creating this lava lamp looking thing. Make sure you tag us on Instagram at, at Riverdale Library NJ and show me what you guys created. What colors did you choose for your lava lamps? I'll see you next week. Bye.